of my favorite things about China, public toilets. It's only five ply in the off season and it goes up to 10 and 15. So uh, off season is a good time to come. So one drawback of coming in off season is that you, there's no cable car, so you have to walk. But thankfully I'm gonna walk, so we're good. This is relaxing. I could go there, up the stairs, or I could go up here, off the beaten path. I bet in Chinese that says like, off the beaten path. Yeah, in the off season stuff be closed. Before moving to China, I would never eat a cucumber straight as a snack. But, we're in Rome, or Beijing, wherever. Whew, stairs kicking my butt. I thought this was gonna be easy. All I see are stairs. Whew. Whew. There's a lot of walking. Whew. But, was it worth it? So, I know it's called Fragrant Hills, but I don't smell anything. So maybe it smells in a different part of the year. But I can't complain because there's no pollution, so I can take a deep breath without having to wear a mask. So this would be a perfect place to fly my drone, but we're in no-fly zone. Yes. 20 something kilometers from city center, still in no fly zone. You have to be 30 kilometers from the Forbidden City to fly your drone. I tried it, it takes off and then it lands. So today was a really great day to come. I got here a little late. Uh, maybe that's why my ticket was only five kwai. But uh, this park is huge. Fragrant Hills Park is not just the peak that I went up to today, but a whole bunch of mountains are in hills. There's uh, quite a few out here. So this is definitely a place that you can come back to multiple times and still enjoy something new. I picked a really good day. There's very few people here. Uh, when you get to the top of the peak, there's a lot more people, but still barely anybody. So it's very peaceful and relaxing. Um, it's funny because I saw downstairs that it closed at 4.30 and I'm walking down now. It's about 4.40 and people are still coming up. So I don't know what's happening here. Everybody's got bags, so it seems like they're gonna have picnics on the top and Maybe have dinner up there. I don't know. But it's definitely uh, worth checking out if you have time, if you're in Beijing, or if you live here. All right, see you in the next one.